Oh, he's won it again! <laughs> oh my goodness! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Road to Cricket Glory, guys, with New Zealand. Episode number 23 here today, guys, in Cricket Captain 2020, where today, the third and last T20 International of three, guys, at Christchurch, at Hagley Oval. This is the last game before we take on West Indies in the World Cup in 2020, the T20 World Cup in 2020 in Australia. It's going to be absolute scenes if we can get up and win that, but we're going to have to take on West Indies in the first round of that competition, guys. But before we get into that, we are actually going to be taking on West Indies here today as a warm-up for that game. Now, here's the real question. How are we looking uh, this series? Chapman, averaging eight. Seifert is on absolute struggle street, I think it's fair to say. So, Glenn Phillips is going to make his return to the side. Munro really struggled as well. So Guptill's going to come back in, so we really... It's going to be dicey whether we even pick Munro at all. I think Hamish Rutherford might be a better pick in the World Cup because he is in form, nonetheless. That's okay. We'll worry about that later. Chapman is not doing the greatest. Ross Taylor and Kane Williamson, Devin Conway are all doing very well, so that is good signs for New Zealand. The bowling, pretty good. Lockie Ferguson only averaging 51, which is quite high, but his economy is fine, so he's doing fantastic because he's got a bit more form behind him uh, it's not to say Lockie Ferguson hasn't got form behind him because he's still doing very good but it's just to say that maybe we need to test Trent Bolt out before the World Cup begins around the corner all right with that lineup in mind guys I think it is time to get going in this game here we go you're going to be taking on West Indies yet again I don't think they've got any changes they've got a pretty uh, they've got a pretty settled lineup there. Current year, we can see that Shy Hope's their best batter by a long way, alongside Roston Chase, who's actually been a revolution for them over the past two games. Very late call-up in the piece, for sure, three games before the World Cup. But hey, timing is everything. And uh, Roston Chase is timing his run to perfection right now. Kane Williamson averaging 50 alongside Ross Taylor this year is pretty insane. All right, Kane's going to call heads. We have won the toss for a bit of a change-up. I think we're going to bat first. Right, we're going to bat first here today for a bit of a change-up just because we need to remember that we are going to bat first at some point in the tournament going forward, and that is a bit of an outside edge, but it's cut away for four. First ball from Guttel. Okay, that's a Guttel shot. What a shot that is down the ground for six. Going to move Guttel up. Glenn Phillips. Get to face, or face one delivery. Oh, Guttel. What a shot for six more. The Ryan opening the bowling here tonight. Oh, no way. Six more. Guptill! Glenn Phillips! Oh no, he's gone for a second ball duck! Oh no, we... Well, it's always difficult to find two openers in form, that's for sure, because... Just don't see it often, because... Glenn Phillips has gone for a second ball duck, leaving Kane Williamson out early to the crease. That's a great shot off the back foot. Tell you what. 31 after 3, 1 down. Very good stuff here. Guptill goes guns blazing. Cornwall now into the power play, okay. And Guptill carves him away for four more. 41 for one. Narayan, his third in the power play, nearly yorks Guptill out. Narayan to Guptill. Off the back foot. That's four. What a shot. 45 for one. Tossed up. Leg side. Four more. Ends the power play. 49 for one. Guptill is creaming it. 41 off 20. Just going to let him go, really, because he is on fire. Kane Williamson is struggle straight at the other end, to be fair. Nine off 19 balls. Not having a good time. 50 up for New Zealand, though. Guptill has done basically all the run scoring. And it's still happening here with four more for Guptill. Williamson is gone. And he top edges a sweep and is gone for nine off 21. He's been in form, but he's he's just had one of those nights, I guess. Lackluster nights, which is not good signs. Oh, no. Cornwall's gone for a golden duck, too. Oh, no. Soon will run on a hat trick. Surely not. Surely not, Ross Taylor. Oh, shot. Four. Dear, oh, dear, guys. Wow, we. This is not going good at all. 60 for three. A hit last game before the World Cup. Got to edges it straight, but it'll be four. Take him. 68 for 3. Guptill has all the responsibility tonight. And he gets 50. His 17th T20 International 50. And I don't want to say it too early, but there's a chance for 100 here. If he wants it. And if he can stick around long enough to get it. Taylor. Facing up to Roston Chase. Off the back foot for 4. What a shot. 
78 for three. Gaptal. Oh, man. It's his night tonight, I think. He's been just on song. Ross Taylor. Was that? That was an over, wasn't it? Oh, goodness me. Chase to Taylor. Oh, my goodness me. It's gone over the stumps. You're kidding me. Chase to Taylor. Carved away. And it will be one bounce four. Good shot. I need two for three. Inside, out, sort of. Back at a point for four. And extra cover gap for four more. Chase has not had a good time against Taylor. It's still got one ball left. 100 up for New Zealand. And it'll be an edge for no run. Jason Holder to Gupta. Gupta goes leg side. And it will be four. 104 for three. Gupta's cleaned up. And he's gone. It's been a good knock. 66 off 31. Ahead of the World Cup. Very good stuff there from Gupta. Chapman now out of form. Oh my. Okay. Well, what do I know? Smashes that for six. Chase to Taylor. 113 for four. And it's carved away or dabbed away. That's, that's nice from Taylor. That's four. Really good stuff there. Tossed up. Oh, good again. Picks the gap again for four more. 120 up for New Zealand. Oh my. No way. Ross Taylor versus Roston. Chase is not having a good time there. Oh, even Chapman's in the act now. Jeepers. Ross Taylor, 41 off 26. Chapman struggling. And five dots in a row. Not great. Taylor to Roston Chase. Probably the last chance they'll have to battle it out. And Taylor wins the battle again. With four more. Brings up 50. His ninth T20 International 50. There you go. Well done to Ross Taylor there. And it's probably time to unleash. Wind it up, boys. Go big. Oh dear. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no. You're not supposed to run out of one player who's actually got confidence at the crease out. Anyway, Chapman, it's up to you now. That's a good shot for four. Carves it for six. Over cover. What a shot. Oh, in the gap. No run. 152. Five. Swing it. Swing it. Satna. Outside the line. Hold it to Satna. They've got a slip in at the death. Okay, okay. Satna is cannot get ball bat on ball, and he's gone for one off five. That was an hysterical inning, so he just couldn't hit it for to save himself there. That's a no ball. Free hit, it will be no run. And Jimmy Nisham's gonna have a swing out here. And he'll get an edge. Chapman. Gets a full toss. Oh no. The old full toss curse, and he's gone. Full tosses, guys. Doesn't matter who you are, what bowler you are, they always get the wickets. Oh no way, another run out. Gee, that was close. Not to be. Oh, another edge. 161. Inside the line. One over left. Come on, boys. Wind it up. See a big one. Oh, shot. That's what I want to, that's what I want to see another one of them. Yes. Come on, boys. One more. Oh, four. Take him. Last ball. 179. Down leg. Okay. What? That's the highest total at Hagley Oval? 179. By any team, really? That's a shocker, that. Okay, well, we'll take it, though. That means they've got to get a new record high to def uh, chase this total, guys. Let's see if they can do it. Trent Bolt. And he gets a wicket in his first over. After his recall, Evan Lewis gone. He loves his left-handers, doesn't he? Sadly to hit my... Oh, swinging in. That's a good shot off the back foot for four. And now, awkwardly, but doesn't nonetheless pull it for, pull it, pulls it away for four. Bolt to hit my another left hander. Oh, nice. Good shot. For four. Edged. Oh! <laughs> oh, what a grab! Ross Taylor sticks the mid out. Oh, would you believe it? Oh, my goodness me. What a catch. You're going to see it one more time. One more time. Come on. Edged. Oh, you're kidding me. Low one hand. Thank you very much. Bolt strikes with a second. Wicket in his spell, and uh, jeepers. Southie's going to bowl another one. Why not? Oh, around the wicket. That's not the plan. Oh, he's nice. No, dropped him. Oh, no way. That's going to be four just before the rope there. Uh, Bolt is on fire, though. Kind of feel like I want to bowl him one more. And I'm going to do it because screw it. Oh, not out. Unlucky. Okay. Mitchell Satner to Kyron Pollard. I mean, this battle has been going on forever, guys. Oh, edge past the keeper. This battle has been going on for quite a long time across the channel. 
It's been going back and forth. Satin has been winning recently, but that is a bit of a hit back at Satin there as Kyron Pollard hits that for four. We need Jameson the attack here because he's actually done pretty well. Great over from Jameson. Tens needed per over here with Kyron Pollard at the crease. Nothing is impossible. Oh, he's won it again! <laughs> oh my goodness. Someone needs to clip all the times that these two have battled, battled it out, guys. If, if you've got some spare time on your hands, guys, clip this battle. Because this battle's been going on across the channel for, uh, for a, a long time now. It's been like probably four or five different innings. And I think Satin has won most of them in the end. But anyway, he gets him. Unbelievable. The rival gets the rival yet again. Satna picks up Pollard. And now to Brandon King. He actually got Brandon King out last game, Satna. And that's going to be four, though. Jameson to Hope. Edged and gone. Would you believe it? Shy Hope was just getting himself back into some touch. And he's gone. Chris Gale now to the crease. Mitchell Satin has had the wood over Gale. Can he continue to have the wood over Gale today? That is four, though. Not particularly that time. Jameson to Gale. Oh, swings in. But it's cut away for four. Driven down the ground. It's going to be four more. Yep. Jameson to Gale. Oh, he's going now. Gale's hit another four. Edged in. Oh, not another one. Another spiky. Oh, me. Phillips take a bow. What a catch. Behind the sticks. Great stuff. New Zealand have Wendy's 96 for five. Brandon King. That's going to be four, though. Good shot. 100 up for the West Indies. Satna to Brandon King. Tossed it up too far. And it's going to be six more. What can Satna do? Oh, no. Completely misses it. Jimmy Neesham into the attack. Jimmy Neesham now to Brandon King. Oh, he goes leg side. That will be a six. Okay. Fair enough. Edged away. And third man will get around. Roston Chase. Oh, man. What a shot over cover. Over extra cover for four there. That's not great. Jameson's going to have to bowl. This is interesting massive done here, guys. This chase is well and truly on here. 9.5 needed, but more importantly, it's because Jimmy Nisham has going to have to bowl some overs, I think. Oh, outside the line. Jimmy Nisham, it's up to you, son. Golden arm. Can he get it done? That's a six. Do I do it, guys? I think I'm going to do it early in a piece. I'm going to bowl Chapman because I'm going to try and sneak an extra over here. Good warm-up for the T20 World Cup, anyone thinking? Yeah, possibly. Chapman to King. Oh, he gets an edge. Good start, good start. Four singles. Can he get out the over? Oh, he lets it go for four, though. What's that, nine off it? Not too bad, actually. Uh, Jimmy Nisham does not have to bowl. Well, he does. He has to bowl, he has to bowl one. 33 from 18. Okay, Nisham to chase. Okay, good. Bangs it in, though. And that's going to be four. 150 up for the Windies. It's edged away for one. Last ball. Whipped away for four. 21 needed. Oh dear. Jimmy Neesham's let our side down tonight with the ball. It's fair to say. And I'm going to have Trent Bolt come around the wicket as the left-hander. Hits the pad. Take it. Down leg. Still. Dot balls. Edged. It'll only be one. Field is back. Oh, that could be four, you know. Oh, he's hit the gap. Four. 12 off the last. Tim Southey. Oh, it's, this is great practice for the World Cup, guys. I'll tell you what. This is brilliant. Brilliant stuff. 12 of 6. Here we go. One run. So let's review it. Hits it. Oh, times it well. Just a single, though. 11 from 5. No run. Times it, but straight to point. 10 from 3. Punches it away. And this great work from cover to stop a second. 10 from 3 now. Bold him! Sally! Thank you. Roston Chase gone for 31 off 24. Jason Holder has to be the hero now. 10 from 2. Southey hits the pad. They're going to win it. No, no ball. Edged away fine for 4, but that's the game. New Zealand win by 5. It was a very nervy one. Gee, Brandon King played extremely well. His second T20 National 50. 53 not out. New Zealand win by 5 runs. Guptal is the player of the match. Bolt bowled extremely well alongside Southey, who closed it out uh, with Jameson. Jimmy Neesham led us down big time. Chapman there, though. 
A bit of a hero there with the ball, late in the piece. So not gonna lie, that's very much needed in this side at the moment. Satna was good, but, but expensive in the second half of the spell once more. With the batting, Gupta was an absolute jet tonight. Phillips, Williamson, and Conway had a bad night. All of them to remember. They definitely will have to bounce back after that lackluster performance from them. Ross Taylor, though, 50 off 31. He was brilliant before he was run out by Chapman, but Chapman did really well. 23 off 17, did well enough with two fours, two sixes, and with the ball in the end, he was exceptionally uh, useful, let's say that. Jimmy Nisham, 18, not out of 10, but he wasn't very good with the ball tonight. And Jameson, uh, 8 off 4 with 6 there to finish it out. So, New Zealand won by five runs. Now, guys, are you ready? Here we are. Because it is now time to push our squad for the T20 World Cup in 2020. We're going to be looking here at what's going on. Has everyone picked their squads? Everybody has picked their squads, guys. We can go through every single team around around the world. We can go through every single team around the world, guys, and find out who they have picked. I might even just scroll through everyone and you guys can see some... You guys can uh, judge, basically. From there. Manus made the T20 World Cup. I cannot believe that. It's averaging 76 as well. Manus, you absolute beauty, mate. Sean Marsh is going. Now that is very interesting. With Travis Head. This is interesting squad, guys. Mitchell Marsh, James Faulkner. That is very surprising. Interesting, guys. Interesting choices there by Australia. Okay, what about Pakistan? Anyone surprising? Yes. Saeed Ali. Saeed? I don't know how to say that name, sorry, but Ali has not played a single t20 international match and yet he has made the squad interesting choice and very interesting choice indeed baba azam obviously is very good show malik's very good interesting stuff guys mohammed amir is still playing okay india who have india picked kedja kedar jadav has made the squad rahul doni doni's still playing is he still playing I thought he retired. I think he might have retired. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'm wrong. He retired from test matches? Yeah, first class test matches. At least in this game. I thought he retired though, but maybe I'm wrong. Obviously I'm wrong. Rishi Darwin. Interesting, okay. Parvez Rasul. Never heard of him. Ollie Pope. An interesting selection there. Jo Joe Root made it. Joe Root made it to the T20 World Cup. Despite what other people have said about him. Not being a T20 player. Afghanistan. Obviously Rashid Khan's there. Ireland, this is Ireland squad. Zimbabwe have not made it. Bangladesh, there you go. West Indies. So West Indies, we've just played them. Ambrus Simmons, Linda Simmons made it. Roston Chase did not make it, guys. Which is very strange, because he was quite good, I thought, against us. And he has not made the squad here, so that's very interesting indeed. Sri Lanka, okay. Malinga's there still. The Sara Pereira, who recently retired, he is indeed there. That is interesting enough. Oman. I mean, we're going to go through some other ones. Might as well. Oman. Papua New Guinea. Okay. A lot of people on debut, it looks like. Gee, look at that. Namibia. The Netherlands, guys. Obviously, we do the Netherlands career mode on, on this game to try to trying to win the T20 World Cup. And uh, they've gone with a pretty stock standard team, so nothing really to speak of there. And Scotland. We've gone with uh, George Scott, I think that is there. And with that, guys, in the next episode, I will be picking our T20 World Cup squad for 2020 here, guys. It's going to be super exciting stuff. But before we actually get into that, let me actually look who is going in. I was going to check who the rankings were for all the teams, guys, who the best players in the world are going into this tournament. But unfortunately, it has actually uh, disabled that option because it has replaced it with the World Cup 20, as it says there, or the T20 World Cup. So we cannot actually see. So we're actually not going to know, but that is okay. We're going to be picking our squad on the next episode, guys. So that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy that pretty close game again, West Indies are really pushing our limits across the series, that's for sure then please leave a like, subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, guys, especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live or hit the post notification bell. Please also comment down below your thoughts on who should make the World Cup squad, guys. This is your final chance to have your say before I select the squad, guys. I will make sure this video goes out before we actually play the T20 World Cup. So please, 
please leave your thoughts down in the comments who should make this squad guys and I will read them all and make some considerations for that. Otherwise, I will see you all guys with the start of the T20 World Cup in 2020 in the Super 12 next time guys. Goodbye for now.